Hello, and welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to use ONDSN to red the report in Control D. In this example, we are decollating using on class, and we are going to intentionally make a mistake instead of saying line three has the word inventory, we'll make it so that line four as the word inventory. This will cause our decollation mission to not find that string and send the report to no name. Let's go ahead and save our change. And let's go ahead and order the decollation mission. We've submitted an inventory job before, so we have our, our decollation mission has a sysout to process. As you can see, it has ended OK. Let's go to equals U. And as we expect, the report goes to unident and no name because of the change on the when lines. Now we know we can fix this by going back to the decollation mission and fixing the when line that caused the problem. And then resubmitting the job that produced the output or the report that got decollated. However, there are times when it is impractical to resubmit a job, like if, if it's a database update and produces a report, you can't really duplicate that report again. This is one of those times where decollating using on DSN to go against the CDAM file that has been previously created by a decollation mission works really well. To create the on DSN decollation mission, simply put an eye on the decollation mission you wish to copy, put in an on DSN category, and change the on class parameter to on DSN, hit enter. As you can see, it's asking us for the dataset name characteristics of our CDAM file. So in order to be able to proceed with our own DSM decollation mission, we need to know the CDAM dataset name of the dataset that was created from the previous decollation. To do this, we can do two things. First, we can go to equals U, do an A against the report that was decollated wrongly, issue the DIA line command, and you will see that the dataset name of the CDAM file is right here. Simply copy it and paste it on our decollation mission so we can start putting in the dataset characteristics that we need for our on DSN decollation mission. I didn't mention there are two ways to get the CDAM dataset names. The other option you can only use if you're using TSO ISPF to access control D. You can go to equals U, view the problematic report, split screen, and issue the TSO ISR DDN command, map down to the bottom, and you should have under the subsystem file the CDAM dataset name that you are currently viewing. Now let's go back to coding our on DSM decollation mission. Here we have our CDAM dataset name. We're only going to need the first three high level qualifiers. So we're going to get rid of the rest. And then make sure we are on insert mode. Specify prefix equals our prefix, comma, job name equals our job name, comma, job ID equals our job ID. Hit enter. There's one parameter we need to check to make sure it's set to no when we're decollating with on DSN. That's the when in queue. To 
sudo nq parameter, type the sc line command, and make sure you set this to no. After setting when in queue to no, you can go ahead and PF3 and save our decollation mission. And then go ahead and force our decollation mission in. Since it's an ONDS and decollation mission, it does not need a sysout to be present in spool. And as you can see, it has already ended OK. If we go back to equals U, you can see that our report has now gone to the correct user and it has also gone to the correct name. If you do the same thing to figure out the dataset name, you can see that the report used the same dataset name that was previously created by the on-class decollation mission. Since you now have the correct entry for the report that you want, you can simply delete the user record for the report that you do not want. And now we only have that report in our Control D database. That concludes our video. Thank you for your time. The workload automation support team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance. Bye bye.